Uh, Steph, how important do you think it is to see women's sport on television? Oh, it's absolutely crucial because the more it gets on television, the more people are aware of it, and when they're aware of it, they tune in and they support it. Absolutely. And, I mean, we could, would you consider yourself an ambassador for women's sport? Uh, kind of by default, I think. I'd prefer to be playing on the pitch and or swimming in the pool or whatever it is that they do uh, to be a, a true ambassador. But... I like the fact that I have a role to play in getting awareness out there and supporting them. They do a super job and it's not about comparing them with the men, but you know, the men get all the coverage, so uh, Yeah, and I guess, yeah, in terms of comparing with the men, you know, a lot of people will say things like the women aren't as good and all of this. Um, you know, what do you have to say to that? It's absolute hogwash. The women are absolutely as good and in some cases better. The Matildas are ranked higher in the world and uh, they've lifted the only silverware in Asia for mm. just for starters. Mm. But uh, I don't think you can compare the two. It's it's not apples with apples, if you get what I mean. Oh, yeah, I do get what you mean. And um, what, what do you think can be done to sort of change that opinion? Uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there advocating for women's sport. There's the stuff the ABC do with televising games as well as, uh, you know, uh, 1HD does the netball. Um, do we need more of that? And what other things can be done? The big thing I think we could do is more newspaper coverage, because that's what all those eyeballs are saying. You know, television, free to air, you get a pretty big audience, but in your daily newspaper, where they catch it by default, that's what you need. Mm -hmm. And I mean, who do we need to talk to, do you think? Is it the reporters? Is it uh, the editors? Um, you know, what? How do, how do we make this happen? Got it. We need a female news sports editor. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be the key. Yeah, so are you looking for a new job there, Steph? Yeah, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know where to send my CV. We see a lot of people uh, you know, putting in effort into promoting the women's game. You know, there's a website called Oz Women's Game, which yep. does football. Uh, there's And there's quite a few other, I guess you'd call them activists. Uh, they're not, in some cases, they're not regular reporters. Uh, they're fans, they're passionate people. Uh, do you think that these kind of people could be somehow uh, brought in um, closer to sort of help with the promotion and you know and I, I see that I don't see that um, a lot of the associations uh, welcome that kind of help but do you think they should or do you think it should be journal real journalists only and you know fans well, separate what do you think what is a real journalist these days because with social media everyone's actually now a journalist uh, mm -hmm. whether they think so or not or whether we want them to be or not mm -hmm. uh, but I think what would be really good is to be able to harness the energy of all those women and men who support women's sport mm. and get a real movement behind and definitely the organisations should support it and with uh, Football Federation Australia certainly they've got Girls FC and there's a lot of people uh, particularly in the industry that, that we work in that we see around football but mm. perhaps they need to be around all the other sports as well. and perhaps united it's it's a louder voice mm. than a lot. and you know how about the athletes themselves do you think that there's uh, something that they could be doing should they indeed be doing anything at all and if so what is it that's a really tough call because if they're a male famous athlete they wouldn't have to do anything the sponsors would come flocking and so on and so forth but apart from possibly tennis and i think maybe swimming and you can jump in if you can think of another one where women automatically get loads <laughs> of dosh uh it's it's about creating awareness of them and when they're so-called famous that's when people start to follow them that's when their kids start to think oh I want to be like them and so on and so forth uh, and that's difficult to achieve but if we could get get them out there get them loud and proud. Mm -hmm. And do you think that things like social media play a role or do you think it really is about traditional media? Uh, social media absolutely plays a role and I'm probably the worst person to ask about it because I'm a Twitter stalker only. I don't actually tweet, <laughs> but I stalk everyone else's Twitter. Mm. Um, I'm not a big Facebook guy and all that sort of thing, but my kids are, they're, you know, they're teenagers and that's where the future is. And I can guarantee there'll be people in the next few years who never read a newspaper. Mm. They'll see it on Facebook, they'll see it on Twitter, and they'll read it on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess that's it. Anything you want to add that we haven't covered? Go the chicks! <laughs>